people singing, it was really, really uh, exciting for me. I thought, you know, I don't know what the plan is, but I'm going to farm on this. This is really important. This, this is really um, going to change things. Uh, now it's four years later. Um, but have the farm on it for the last four years, and, uh, and it's pretty tough because the the world around us is not ready to embrace this stuff, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Good reasons, bad reasons, what have you. Um, so as a result of trying to build our business and our initial visions of changing the world and, and embracing all of these new ways of doing things and, and how you can now you can build a, a telephone system the way you build a website. Um, we found out, of course, from having to talk to the customer, what they actually wanted. And our customer base is primarily small to medium businesses. What is an SMB? Um, they're also called SMEs, depending on where in the world you're from. Um, well, they're the vast majority of businesses. Uh, stats say that about 90 to 99% of all businesses are small medium businesses. The size of an SMB is sort of what defines it. Unfortunately, there's no agreement on exactly what that size is. And uh, 25 to 250 seems to be one, five, 10 to 500 seems to be the other. Many of these companies have nothing to do with consumers, and most of these companies none of us have ever heard of, nor will we ever hear of. A company that builds that manufactures ceramic cups that the metal smelting industry uses in order to test the quality of the metal. They use that cup once, they throw it in the garbage, they go through hundreds of these a day, tens of thousands or millions of these across the world every day. This is a multi million dollar industry. You know, how many of us are going to interact with that? These companies are not generally interested in taking risks. Oh, Here's some of the challenges that a company like this has. They have a smaller, not existent IT department. It's the boss's kid. It's somebody who is generally not certified in what they're doing. They're usually fairly intelligent, but they kind of know enough to be dangerous. And the reality of building an IT, IT infrastructure in a company like that is that everybody's got a slightly different machine under their desk. They have no idea what software they're running. The network's been spliced together from whatever was lying around or whether you pick up a prize or best buy. Um, this network is not going to pass voice certification anytime soon. The desktop environment is not really suitable for voice app because you can't make sure that the quality is there. You don't even know how the time of the wire goes. 